Okay, so when you finish with this, uh, obviously you're going to go to the responses. I've cleared my responses. That's why it says zero. Um, but if you want it to let you know, you can click on get email notifications for new responses. When somebody sends you, uh, when a student completes an assignment, can email you. And then uh, you want to do your responses in sheets. Uh, so I actually already have my sheet set up right here. Uh, I use purple to highlight, you know, I've already seen it from someone. A couple things in here. Uh, one, you can see these are a mess. They're not in order of class periods. So you can go through and do your data sort range. And you want to do advanced sorting options. I actually want to go column uh, D, which is my classes, and then column C, which is my student names. That's going to put it in actual class order, um, roughly. Oh, it was E and D. Okay. Um, but it would put it in class order if I had done it correctly instead of D and C. Um, and then the second thing, conditional formatting, you can see I have this automatically graded. I copied that same rubric up here. And then if you go click on column C, format, conditional formatting, you can actually put in these details. So like I need, uh, if it's greater than 19, see over here, that means that it's going to be full credit. Highlights it in green. Um, so I use, as you can see, uh, here on the omelet scale we go green blue yellow orange red grades it really easy for you um, if you have automatic grading things like let's say it's just all multiple choice you can actually uh, never look at the google form again and just pull your answers from this google sheet and it can be super useful one last trick i want to show you on here um, if you need to separate these people's names out you want to sort it by alpha of last name we're going to copy them from here, paste them down here, and then we're going to go data, split text to columns. And I'm going to go separator is a space. You can see it's not necessarily exactly perfect. It's like Jesus, it's, you know, Jesus in the in Kiso. It's, it's like, sorry, sorry, Jesus. Um, so you might have to copy that name back to over here, uh, but then you can insert a, a bracket or gap up here, insert one column left, and then I'll allow you to copy these first names and put them up here. And the last names, and you can put them where they go. That's how that's going to work. I did it wrong, so that's why it's a mess. Take care of yourself, one another, stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask, my house will be yours. We love you a lot more. These tips are already posted on the uh, Google Doc for the tech team. So please feel free to check things out or we'll share out more specific details if you have specific questions. Happy Friday.